I'd like to talk to you about conductive hearing loss. And what most people don't understand is that hearing loss can be divided into the conductive component, and that part is the sound getting from the outside world through your ear canal, vibrating the eardrum, and vibrating the three ear bones, then create a signal that gets amplified in the cochlea. And the cochlea receives the sound, turns it into a neurological signal, and goes through your nerve and into your brain. So there are many conditions that can affect the ear canal. Some as simple as removing a piece of earwax that could significantly improve your hearing. There's also bony overgrowth that can be removed and skin conditions that can be treated. The eardrum often ruptures to protect you during infections and sometimes that doesn't heal. And that can actually be repaired oftentimes with a very simple operation and sometimes even in the ENT's office. The three ear bones that conduct the signal are a very complex lever system that we have multiple interventions for, including artificial ear bones, reforming the ear bones that are there. And lastly, there are now some implantable devices that can overcome very significant hearing losses that are not reconstructable with the, tri with the traditional surgical techniques. So when patients come in and, and have a question concerning their conductive hearing loss, we have many options for them. So I'd like to really encourage you to go to enthealth.org and click on find an ENT so that you can talk to an ENT surgeon near you who could potentially diagnose and manage your hearing loss.